this video, we're going to go through a patient encounter. More specifically, we're going through the history of present illness. A lot of students like using acronyms. However, we're going to use a visually enhanced timeline designed to help us remember what to ask, maintain our organization, and see the big picture. It's called the H and HPI. And let's take a look at a template that you can use to take notes as we go along. Let's add the pertinent positives and pertinent negatives. Here's the case that we get. However, we're just going to take the history of present illness. What brings you in today? I'm sorry to hear that. Could you tell me more about your stomach pain? When did this happen? I'm sorry, can you tell me anything else about the pain? Is where you pointed the only area you felt the pain? How severe is the pain? On a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst pain you've ever had. When you had this pain three days ago, how long did the pain last? I want to talk about what was happening when the pain started now. What were you doing when the pain started? What did you eat for dinner? Congratulations to your daughter. Did you do anything to try and relieve the pain? I would like to try and make sure I have everything correct if that's okay. Three days ago, you were eating dinner with your family. About 30 minutes after, you had a severe pain, 8 out of 10, in the right upper area of your abdomen. It was on and off in nature, and you tried Tums, but that didn't help. The pain lasted about three hours. Is that correct? Have you ever had any pain similar to this? I'm sorry to hear that. Could you tell me more about that? Have you had this pain or similar pain any other time? Do you have any pain in your abdomen now? During this most recent episode of pain, did you have any other symptoms associated with the pain? Did you have any other symptoms like vomiting, gas, indigestion, diarrhea, constipation, or any change in your stools? Can you describe how this is affecting your life? Do you have any thoughts on why you're having the pain? What would you like to get out of this visit? And of course, the answers are going to vary to these questions. Let's take a look at our visually enhanced timeline and our abdominal pain template again. With these notes that I took, I can present this patient directly. I'll do that in another video. Any thoughts on what the condition is? Remember, these are idealized scenarios and not real life. 
It often feels fake and artificial when you're doing an OSCE. The more you do and the more you practice, you'll find your own voice. Do not be afraid of silence. Remember, silence is your friend. This is also a minimal and efficient way of taking notes that won't dominate the interview. For more understanding of the h and tool, refer to the rationale video. As always, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I hope this helped.